Hello, Adam here. Very glad you're with me again. And right up front today, I would just like to thank everyone who subscribed to the channel. It really means a lot to me. Today, I've got a really nice winter scene. I'm going to show you every brush, every color, and every technique you'll need to do this painting yourself. So hit the like button for me, and let's get to it. Enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna to start today by grabbing my two inch brush. I've already got my 16 by 20 canvas covered in a thin coat of liquid white. If you'd like to see how I put on the liquid white, I've got a video just for that. All right, I'm gonna come right over here and grab a little bit of cad yellow. All right, and try to get it evenly over the bristles there. I'm using the same brush that I used to put on the liquid white. And we could put on skies in all kinds of different ways. Today, I'm just gonna take some yellow and just kinda of Put it at various points on the canvas. We'll just kind of work it up. There we go. And we'll have snow down here today. I'll put a little of that down here too. Okay. I'll reach up and grab some crimson. Still got that yellow on it. I might even intentionally put some yellow in there. All right. Get a little, little bit of an orange tone to it. Okay. And let's just... Spread some of this around in different spots, too. There we go. And again, we'll get a little of that color down here. We don't have to be too particular about this today. Okay. I'll wipe that out a little, and now I'll go right into a little bit of just, just pure crimson. A little of that in there, too. All right, I'll reach over and grab a dry two inch brush. We'll just start here in the yellow and blend it out. We can always drag some of this crimson into the yellow. No problem, but once it's there, it's there. Okay, so that's, that's why I like to start in the light area of the yellow. Work my way to the edges and to the top. And, you know, sometimes I may have to just kind of get rough with it to spread it out the way I want it, that's okay. We'll do the same thing over here. There we go. Now we're just kind of blending this, blending it together. And down at the bottom, we're really not too worried about it. We're gonna get snow down here, so that'll blend as we do that later. Okay. All right, now that we've got that in there, I'll go back to my original two inch brush. We'll get a little bit of Prussian blue. Mix that in with some crimson and make a kind of a dark lavender color. I'm just kind of looking at it as it mixes to get a tone that I want. That's all I'm doing. There we go. Let's try something about like that. And at the top, we'll make it pretty dark. Pretty dark across here. There we go. I'll go back to that dry brush now and blend that in. You wipe it out. There we go. Just a nice soft blend where the colors meet. And of course, we look at the whole thing and take most of the brush strokes out of it. There we go. And we can get a little of that down here too. Good. I'll reach down here and grab my one inch oval brush now. We'll go right into a little bit of that color we just mixed up. And I might touch a little bit of brown. Okay. We really just kind of want a soft background color. We're going to put some trees in the background. All right. And let's just go somewhere over in here. And we'll just take a look. We really want these to remain pretty soft. Okay. We'll put a few right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna soften that up a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of white in there. Really kind of want to push that into the background. There we go. A little soft. And for this, maybe we 
we put our trees in in a couple different spots. You know, sometimes when I when I don't go all the way across, when I put them in in different spots at different times, it helps them to come out looking random. That's kind of what I want. Some randomness in this tree pattern. There we go. Now we're really getting to what I was looking for. Some nice, soft background trees. Okay. And once we got them in there, I'll wipe that brush out and soften them up even more. Just by hitting the bottoms. Tap them right in there. Okay. The more you tap, the softer it'll become. Now take the same brush and just barely touch a little bit of that brown. And at different spots, just going to touch, just to add some varying colors. All right, this will help give some depth to the painting. Now, this is almost unnoticeable, but it does change the painting a little. There we go. Now, use the same brush. I'll come up and get a little bit of blue. Got some Prussian blue. I'll get a little white. All right, and I just keep grabbing some of that white until I've got the color that I want. Really looking for a light, light blue color. Now, something like that. Because it's a winter scene, just very, very lightly. I just want to give a little bit of indication of maybe there's some snow on some of these trees. And for that, I'll use blue. Just in a couple spots. There we go. Okay, I'll reach down and grab my two inch brush again. This is the same brush I've been using. Let me go right into some of that titanium white. And those colors are going to mix on there a little bit, and that's okay. Perfectly fine for what we're doing here. And let's lay in some snow. So I'll start right here. Just drag over some color. See, it's not pure white. It's mixed with the color. And that is a good thing. Okay. I'm just kind of looking at the angles a little. and Maybe changing it as I go. There we go. I'll just continue to drag it over. If it gets a little too dark for me, I'll just add some more white to it. There we go. Leave some of that reflection from the sky in there. Laying in a little snow kind of helps to push these trees into the distance. There we go. Maybe this little group of trees comes out a little right there. Okay, I'll reach over here and pick up a fan brush. All right, I've got a number six fan brush. And I'm going to mix up a evergreen tree color here in a minute. But before I do that, I'm just going to turn this around and take the end of it. And just scrape in some very faint trunks back here. You'll hardly even notice them. But they're there. And it's just another technique that you can use for your paintings. All right. Just faint, faint little little twigs, little trunks, something like that, but we we truly want this to remain very much in the distance. Okay. I'll flip my brush back around and we'll mix up a tree color. So I'll take some some brown, some black. We want it to be pretty dark. Get some green in there and even some of that Prussian blue. Okay. And let's give that a try. Maybe just a little more green. Okay, let's try that. And let's come right here. And we'll put in a pretty big evergreen tree right here. And for that, 
I'm just going to touch where I want it to start. Maybe make myself a little line where I want it to go down to. I want this to go down to somewhere in here. And it may end up getting a little further down than that. So about right there. Okay. Now I'm just going to take the corner of the brush. Just the corner. Just touch it gently. I'm just going to continue with just the corner. All right. I think sometimes what happens is we have the tendency as we go back and forth to hit it this way. Just stay on the corner. As you go left and go right, stay on the corner. And it'll look much better that way. Okay. And we'll bring this tree down. Let's turn this over and get some of that dark color. There we go. We'll bring it down to somewhere in here. Okay, and now you can see after building that tree, it really pushes the tree line into the distance. And that's the impact we're going for. Let me get some more color here. I'm mix a little more black and a little more brown into that. There we go. Let's come over here and build a couple more trees. Exact same technique. For this one, we're going to start pretty high in the sky. Let's start right here. All right, bring the tree all the way down to somewhere in there again. And again, right on the corner, just on the corner of the brush, we go back and forth. Just quickly, I just want to remind everyone to leave a comment on the video. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like, maybe a, a different type of painting you'd like to see. Or you can ask me anything you want to ask, and I'll be happy to help you out. Just flipping my brush over there to keep it darker here at the bottom of the tree. There we go. Bring it somewhere to there. Now reload. Let's do one more tree. One more tree right here. It'll be a little bit shorter. Same thing though, we're just using the corner, bringing it down, back and forth, letting the branches just kind of jump off the brush there. Yeah, right about there on that one. Okay, let me come over here to the top of this tree and just work on that just a little. If you're not completely satisfied with the shape, you can, you can come back and change it easy enough. Just put in a couple more branches in there. Do you like it? That's all you got to do. Okay. There we go. And I think I like that just a little better. I'll reach down here and grab my original two inch brush and now we're going to make another plane right here to do that i'm just going across the bottom all right it picks up that color throws a whole new plane into the painting and that's exactly what we're looking for all right there might be another little plane right back there with that tree just like that all right bring some shadow into it All right, it is a evening painting. So all these little shadows would be a natural thing. But really that plane right there, that plane right there pushes all that back. Now I'll just come over to this tree and just fix those branches right there. All right, we can grab a liner brush and let's go right into some of this dark stuff. No paint thinner, nothing like that. I'm just Getting a little color on here. And right here we can always put in a little, just a little tree, a little, little twig coming up right there. And you know, there can be a couple right here and just in various spots. All right, maybe there's a 
bigger tree right here. Sticking up right there. Okay. Under this tree, there might be a couple little twigs sticking out up over in here. Just helps to bring some depth to the painting. Okay, I'll stick with the two inch brush. And let me come up here and get a little blue. I'll just take a look at it here as I'm tapping it. Maybe a little white. And let's go right here. Right about here, let's, let's just pull down some water. We're doing our water a little different today. We'll put in some blue like this. See if we like it. We'll bring it all the way over, even though we'll probably have some more snow banks in there. Just bringing it straight down. Okay. And I'll wipe that out and flip it over and gently go across. Today we'll see if we can make some water that really looks like it's ice. It's frozen over. All right. And I'll go back to my fan brush and, and just wipe it out a little. And right here, we'll just put in reflections of the bigger trees. Just the bigger trees. And these reflections need to be a little lighter than the tree. That's, that's one way it'll help to look like ice. All right, do the same thing here. Not looking for perfection with these reflections. Get something in there that resembles the tree. That's all. This one right here, you might, I don't know, you might see that to there, so. Okay. Go back to our two inch brush. And again, go down gently. and across. Same technique as always for water, even though this is gonna be ice. Okay, I'm gonna pick up my palette knife, go right into here, we'll just pull that out. Over all that color, no big deal. We'll get a little bit on the end of the knife. And let's see, let's just kind of work some edges here. Might have to do this a couple times to to get it looking right. We're just gonna try to make it look like there's snow coming out over the edge of this little pond right here. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm getting some paint on the end of this knife and as you smash it on the canvas, it's really got nowhere to go other than the out the edge of the knife. And that's kind of the effect that happens there. So I just work with it a little till I like the way it looks. There we go. Nothing wrong with going over it a few times until you're satisfied. All right. Got a little dry brush here. Blend that just a little. There we go. And let's see. I'll go back to my two-inch brush, pick up some more titanium white. Again, there's going to be some different colors on there. That's... That's just fine. And I'm going to come right here and put another, another plane right there. Nice little hill that comes down. There we go. And back to that fan brush that had a little color on it. Maybe there's a little bit of winter grass poking up right here on this edge. You'd see right there. We'll 
We'll blend out the bottom. You know, maybe there's a little more right here. All you got to do is take that fan brush and bend it up. That's all we're doing. Okay. We're just putting some more planes in here. That's all we're doing. Drag that out. All those shadows, all those different colors. Looks really good. And this part right here being a little darker is good because on this painting, we really want this to be the focal point. That works. That works good being dark right there. All right, I'm going to grab my filbert brush and we'll put a little tree in this painting. Of course, it's really difficult for me to not have a big old tree in a painting anymore. All right, so we'll just get a little paint on the brush. And how about right here? Right here. Just put a tree. It comes up this way. There we go. I'll set that down, grab my liner brush, get some more of the color, and we'll build a couple branches. So we'll, we'll start right here. We'll come up over this evergreen tree. Kind of let it frame in that evergreen tree a little bit. If you have problems getting this paint to glide on here, thin it down a little. That's all you got to do. Thin it down. The paint that I use works really well. I don't have to do a lot of thinning this down. Just keep working these branches until you're satisfied. All right. There we go. I'll go back now and kind of darken the back side of the tree. For this painting, that's that's the shadow side. Okay. And maybe we'll give it one more branch coming out over here that you can see something like that coming up. Okay. Go back to my fan brush and just put some weeds around the base of this tree. Let that come out there. Maybe there's a bigger one that sticks up right there, bigger bush. Go back to my oval brush and we'll just get a little bit of a little bit of white, a little bit of titanium white, a little bit of liquid white just to thin it down. And the top of this bush we'll we'll just gently touch it. Little snow covered little bush right here. Same thing in spots. Just lightly. That's all we need. Okay. Go back to my liner brush and wipe it out just a little. I'll get some liquid white, mix it right here. On my palette and we'll put some highlights on this side of the tree All right, this side of the tree will be the the light side hopefully you can see this I just want to get a little bit of light a little bit of snow maybe whatever that is on some of these branches right there bring it on up there too okay just work on it a second try to blend it in good And maybe this tree over here will lighten it up. Not all trees are are dark trees. Some of them are light light colored trees. 
Not even sure what type of tree that is. It's just an old dead tree. Okay. Let's get some limbs on it. Until I like it. That's all I'm doing. It can grow a little. That's fine. And just gently, I'll grab a clean fan brush now. I'll touch a little bit of that titanium white. And just a little on these trees. Just a little. I'm just going to come back and just touch here in the middle. I'll leave most of the branches kind of dark. And I'll leave it a little darker towards the bottom. But just touching this, getting a little bit of highlight. Maybe it's a little bit of snow on these trees. And all I got to do is just, just touch it. Don't have to be too particular about it. Just getting some highlight. A little bit of snow on there. If you have trouble making the paint stick, thin it down a little bit with some liquid white. And this one way in the back, we'll, we'll touch it just softly. Okay. And maybe we will put some more snow down here at the bottom. Might help separate it from the tree behind there. Okay. And there's always just little things you can do. I'll go back to my liner and so maybe I'll put in a couple, a couple light sticks down here. Little blades of grass. Can't see them that great, but they're there. Just enhance the painting just a little. Same thing up in here. Just little bitty things going on. Maybe there needs to be one or two more little, little twigs sticking out by this little tree here. Okay. Just take a little bit of time, all right? Right here, I'm gonna blend the base of that out, cover the bottom of that tree a little. Maybe I can take just a little crimson and say something's reflecting right there. Maybe a little stronger in here, a little stronger over here. Just the color of the painting, really. A little more color in it. There we go. Okay. All right, let me see. Let me grab my palette knife one more time. Come up here and get a little bit of this titanium white. Let's just put in a couple little little spots like this okay that'll help this to look like ice and I'll take a, a dry brush just any dry brush you got and just go over it all right just go over it That'll help to kind of glaze this up some. Really, kind of make it look like ice. That's what we're going for anyways. Okay. And with that, we're going to call this painting complete. I really hope you enjoyed this painting. I hope you'll give it a try. And until next time, remember, if I can paint, you can too. See you next time.